Welcome back, folks, to another enlightening episode of EM Facts. Today, we're diving into a topic that sparks much debate among new parents. Is expressing better than breastfeeding? We'll explore the advantages and disadvantages of both methods to help you make an informed decision. So, let's get started. Understanding expressing and breastfeeding, before we weigh the pros and cons, let's clarify what expressing and breastfeeding entail. Expressing refers to extracting breast milk using a breast pump and then feeding the baby using a bottle or another feeding method. On the other hand, breastfeeding involves directly nursing the baby at the breast. Advantages of expressing Expressing breast milk offers several benefits worth considering. Firstly, it allows other caregivers to participate in feeding, giving mothers more flexibility and freedom. It's also convenient for working mothers who may not have the option to breastfeed during working hours. Additionally, expressing can help stimulate milk production and relieve engorgement or discomfort. Advantages of breastfeeding Breastfeeding, on the other hand, provides a unique set of advantages. Firstly, it establishes a strong emotional bond between the mother and baby, fostering a sense of closeness and security. Breast milk contains essential nutrients and antibodies that support the baby's immune system and overall health. Moreover, breastfeeding can reduce the risk of certain health conditions for both the baby and the mother. Disadvantages of expressing While expressing offers convenience, it's important to acknowledge its drawbacks. Expressing requires extra time for pumping, cleaning equipment, and preparing bottles. There's also the potential risk of reduced milk supply if the pumping schedule isn't consistent. Furthermore, some babies may struggle to switch between bottle feeding and breastfeeding, leading to nipple confusion. Disadvantages of breastfeeding Breastfeeding, while natural, can present challenges. Mothers may face discomfort, sore nipples, or difficulty latching initially. Breastfeeding can also limit a mother's freedom and make it challenging for other caregivers to participate in feeding. Additionally, some mothers may face societal pressure or lack proper support, which can impact their breastfeeding journey. Finding a balance, it's crucial to find a balance that suits your individual circumstances. Some parents opt for a combination of expressing and breastfeeding, creating a flexible routine that works for them. Consulting with a lactation consultant or seeking support from breastfeeding groups can help overcome challenges and make an informed decision. In conclusion, whether expressing or breastfeeding is better depends on your unique situation and personal preferences. Expressing provides flexibility and allows others to participate in feeding, while breastfeeding offers numerous health benefits and strengthens the bond between mother and baby. Remember, what matters most is the well-being and happiness of both the mother and the baby. That's a wrap for today's episode of EM Facts. We hope we shed some light on the expressing versus breastfeeding debate and helped you make a more informed decision. As always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you next time with another intriguing topic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share EM Facts with fellow parents and curious minds. Take care, and bye for now.